Hi, Sean. Hi, Jodie. What's new? Um, a telescope? I just heard a radio programme about a giant telescope they're planning. Oh, I read about that in a magazine I got for my waiting room. In Chile, right? The Atacama Desert. Yeah, on a mountain. They're going to level off the top and build a billion euro observatory in the middle of nowhere. Hi, guys. Hi, David. Hi, David. A billion euro telescope in the middle of nowhere? Somebody must like spending money. They'll have to bring food in. And water. It's in the desert. Yeah, the driest desert in the world. I doubt it's the driest. I thought the Sahara was the driest. Or Kalahari. No, it's the Atacama. It can't be. I've never heard of it. If it were the driest, I'd have heard of it. But why would they build a telescope in a desert anyway? Dust, sandstorms, won't that hurt visibility? Maybe even damage the lenses? Uh, David, it's on top of a mountain. There won't be much dust at 3,000 metres. Sean's right. Visibility will be amazing up there. Uh, I see what you mean. That's why it's the perfect place for the world's biggest telescope. The mirror will be 25 metres across. Can you believe it? It was more than that, wasn't it? I thought they said 28. Oh, that's right. 28 metres. Imagine how far we'll be able to see with that. Right. And not just far in distance, far back in time too. That's something I can't do. People leave my clinic being able to see better, but never back in time. It's going to have its own swimming pool too. So, a 28-metre telescope and with its own swimming pool? I didn't even know telescopes could swim. Ha ha. People are going to be living up there, you know. They're putting it all underground. Pool, shopping centre, gym, all underground. So, is the telescope going to be underground too? David, you're such a comedian. Seriously, though, why are they putting all that stuff underground? To hide from aliens? All that extra expense. Sounds like a waste of taxpayers' money to me. Uh, 3,000 metres? Have you ever tried to put up a tent on a mountain top at 3,000 metres? Freezing cold? High winds? But it's a desert. I think the problem will be the heat. Heat? Cold? Either way, it'll be pretty extreme. Jody's right. It makes sense to live underground. Oh, I see. So who's building it? I heard India and China were teaming up on a huge new telescope somewhere. This one's European. Yeah, European. And as soon as this one's done, the Americans or the Japanese will build one a meter wider. It's all about prestige. Sure, we'll get some wonderful new pictures of space, but it's like building the tallest tower. One country goes high, right away the next wants to go higher. Not because it's more useful, just to show off. Well, with towers you might be right, but these new telescopes really will be useful. They said we'll be able to get pictures of faraway planets. Not stars, planets. If the Earth gets hit by a giant asteroid, we could all escape to a planet discovered by this new telescope. Well, Jody, I'm afraid we'll just be seeing the new planet as it used to be. By the time we see it, it might have already been hit by a giant asteroid too. Jody's probably right, though. I'm sure they'll discover lots of useful things. Scientists have already found antimatter and dark matter. Maybe now they'll discover doesn't matter. A substance that has no effect on the universe whatsoever. You're killing me, David. Look, even if it doesn't save our lives, the new telescope will give us a lot of new information. We'll understand more about the universe. Is there a better reason to climb to the top of a mountain?